Welcome back. I'm some guy you've never heard of, and this is Crusader Kings 3 Angevin Dreams. So last time we concluded Pope Seuds II's tournament, um, he won a third event and then lost in the duel. So at least it wasn't all just a Yudes fest. I mean, he did come in place. He did come in second, but at least he didn't win all four events. That would have been even shadier than well, that would have appeared even shadier than it did. Okay, who's Frisia at war with now? Count Court of Onsnabrak in the Holy War for the Kingdom of Frisia. Wow, my vassals just keep trying to take Frisia, and this one looks like he's gonna succeed. I mean, anyway, I had one vessel be successful at taking a part of Frisia. Who took the Duchy of uh, Holland? Ah, uh, the Duchess of Brabant took Holland as well. Good for her. He only has one child, so it's all going to go to the one child. Yeah, and she's 46, it's unlikely she's going to have more children. The Hideous? Oh my. That is an unfortunate nickname. No, oh, she's homely. Oh, she is pregnant. Alright. Good. I would like it if um, your duchies get split. She knows the oil vulgar Dutch and Arabic. Good for her. Well, at least she learned the Dutch that's prevalent in the, the um, territory that she took. A grand wedding? My court chaplain is hosting a grand wedding. Is it his grand wedding or no? Charles de Monteferrato? Ah, one of his children. I mean, you're... Okay, let's see, you're the Duke of Luxembourg, and you're my court chaplain. <coughs> yeah, I will definitely accept this invitation. Um, I can't really think of a good reason not to. I mean, not that I'd want to decline. But... Oh, I visited, like, all the interesting close stuff. What can I extend? I keep meaning to go to the capital of uh, Denmark, but it keeps not quite working out. The activity starts the 5th of August. My current estimated arrival time would be the 10th of February. All right. Um. I don't have a caravan master. That's not good. Okay. Wow, this lady is really safe. This guy is pretty fast. This guy's even faster, but less safe. Um. Yeah, let's go with her. Oh, now I'd be getting there like 14 days sooner. 15, I think, actually. All right, well, let's see about customizing my route. On the way there, let's visit the capital of Wales. 
that would have us getting there on the 10th of April when it's happening on the 5th of August. Okay. Then how about if we add the capital of Alba? I mean, Scotland. I keep forgetting that we renamed it Scotland. Oh, this would now be too long already, even though I'd still be getting there on time. There we go. That would have me visit all of Hadrian's Wall. And then we go to his wedding. And then after the wedding, we'll go to the capital of Denmark, finally. And then just come home. I'm not going to do too many detours on the way back. Just the one. Baron Yusser of C dies. Well, no. My realm won't actually lose land because... Yeah, it doesn't let you hold uh, baronies outside of your stuff. Grand wedding, a fresh start. I can't wait. I'm on my way. On my way to Luxembourg, I will go to Wales and Scotland. Oh, my wooden phallus was destroyed. How terrible. I'm fine with that, actually. What's going on in my throne room? Well, there's some. There's an inspired person who wants to forge regalia. I recently sponsored someone to make regalia for me, and it's really, really good regalia. And then I've recently improved it too. Goes that war with, and I visited the capital of Wales. 200 martial experience. Excellent. Right. Who is the one attacking him again? Count Cord of Osnabrück. Send him a gift. Make it a little easier for him to wage his war. Alright, I visited part of Hadrian's Wall. Travel friendly locals. As we stop to the camp outside a small village in Falkirk, the locals come to investigate our caravan. At first I think they are trying to trade with us, but soon it becomes clear that they have come to give us gifts and learn everything they can about our culture. One local in particular, Slain, has a million questions about where we are from. I'm not interested in establishing xenophilic. Um, so we'll take every benefit we can. See, so we get gifts from villagers for five years, which will have me uh, gain, will lose stress quicker. We'll gain 75 gold, and I'll lose 41 stress. Stress. Yep, we'll take every benefit we can. I'm glad they want to learn more about Angevin culture. Oh, and martial experience in the capital of Scotland as well. And then it'll be more martial experience on the last two pieces of Hadrian's Wall. Uh, 
because, yeah, I mean, we're trying to convert everyone to the Anjuan culture. Oh, it's the chopping block. Um... I don't want sore muscles for five years. I'll take the 32 stress because I'm athletic and brave. No, manual labor is beneath me. That's my military look. Oh, not everything is maxed. Apparently my house carls can be 13 now. So let's do that. Speaking of military, how is my current fascination going? 15 years on knighthood. Okay. And now we're sailing back to the mainland. We've landed in Zealand and we're traveling to Luxembourg. Oh, a local hero. Um, Saint Godilla? There's a nice ring to it. Oh. Prince Elfwig has increased his stewardship by one. Excellent. Good for him. Oh, wow. He's 12, 12, 10, 6, 8 with 14 uh, prowess already? And he's 12. Nice. Well, you are quick, hale, and comely. Oh, you're still rowdy. Compassion, it didn't replace rowdy, it just pushed it out of that section. So he is brave, zealous, temperate, and compassion. Nice. But unfortunately, because he's not in my court, he's a ruler of his own, I can't make him learn languages. Which really sucks. Maybe I should take a look and see if there are any good... No, I shouldn't, because I'm traveling. And so I won't be able to offer a grand wedding. Oh, no, that's, that lady is 27. It's a little old for my son. I mean, her mouth's in a weird position, but otherwise she looks more attractive than a lot of the other women on this list. And yet, she's ugly. Okay. All right, well, I'm not looking for a spouse for him right now. Because, <clears throat> um, yeah, I want to be able to offer a royal marriage with it. And I can't do that while I'm traveling. All right, speaking of royal marriages, I've arrived at uh, the one I've been invited to. Still got almost a month until it starts. Since I do wish to have a royal marriage for my, uh, the Queen of Denmark is sending me a gift. Oh, she's generous, so she's losing stress for doing this. Well, in that case, I will accept her gift. I don't have any schemes going right now. And apparently a rival of mine has... Oh, um, my first wife's, uh... She's still listed as my soulmate, even though I've, like, broken up with her twice now. Um. What was I saying? Yeah, her husband after I divorced her. He was my rival, apparently. Well, I lose stress because he's dead. 
Well, apparently he still thought these two were my were his kids. Well, his mom and I know better. I mean, his his wife and I know better. Um. How old am I? Oh, that's right. I have that majestic beard because I chose it. Um, I'm 52. Okay. Oh, yes. The wedding is starting. I can't wait. Celia comes of age. I am proud to see my daughter no longer as a child, but as an adult. Um, as an active and enthusiastic child, it is no surprise that Cecilia has done well in her studies of war and combat. It is impressive to see such skill in someone so young. She displays a level of insight that's rare even among co veteran commanders. They grow up fast. Ooh, she's a brilliant strategist and a reaver. Nice. They grow up fast. She is also craven. She's compassionate, impatient, and craven. My daughter Cecilia, the Duchess of Neustria and Provence. Accidentally, she's not supposed to have Neustria. Oh well. Oh wait, I forgot to check what her, uh, 25 prowess. Nice, yep, she's definitely one of my knights now. Oh, while I'm at this wedding, what will be my thing? Is there anyone here that I wish to, like, befriend? friends with the Queen of Germany and the Queen of Denmark and Scotland and England. Let's go with Diplomacy with uh, Sardinia e Piedmont. I mean, and uh, Corsica. Grand Wedding Political Talk. As the ceremony runs its course, I finally managed to place myself with by uh, King Bernardo and to engage him in some small talk. Directly moves into a more interesting field, politics. We share some casual remarks until I lead him exactly where I wanted him. Sadly, we've had some bad harvests that set our growth back recently. Let's see. Um, a pity if someone took advantage of that. Oh. Intrigue challenge. 60% chance he's intimidated and I get a weak hook on him. And I lose stress. 39% chance he's not intimidated. He loses the opinion of me and I gain stress. Okay, well, a pity if someone took advantage of that. Oh, he's not intimidated. Oh, well. I'm not trying to admit him, intimidate him, but... Oh well. The ceremony has finally reached its climax. Um, exciting. A secret exposed again. I'm so tired of hearing about these. These accusations are not but malice and lies. Who would have known? 
Um, the formal part of the wedding, the ceremony, is final be finally behind us. Everyone is smiling in, in anticipation of the gargantuan meal, exciting entertainment, and general revelry that we are about to be offered. Let's talk in. The detestable Countess Judith has been staring at me across the banquet table. Our eyes meet, and I sense for an argument as she crosses the room towards me. Wait, is she crying? Seeing you on such a happy occasion has me thinking. After all that's passed between us, her eyes fill with tears. I wish I could take it all back. Let's see, I embrace Judith and let it all be forgiven. I lose 104 stress. Oh, we stop being rivals. 53% chance she gains 30 opinion of me. 46% chance she becomes my friend. Yep, I embrace Judith and let all for be, be forgiven. Grand wedding and another thing. Every feast, there's always one. Every single feast, one long-winded, long ill-born pissant, cornering people who will just who will just not be silent. This time, it's Constance. The Countess of Cheshire, and she's desperately trying to get me to invest some of my ample resources as a noble Lord Emperor in her plan for some kind of field of whipping posts, able to channel the communal cleansing pain of dozens of penitents. <laughs> I am going to scream. Let's see, gently exit the conversation. Shut up. That's very interesting. Grin and bear it. Um, gently exit the conversation. 81% chance I gain a diplomacy perk. 18% chance that she just gains opinion of me. And either way I lose stress because I'm compassionate. I don't have stress to lose at the moment, but that's okay. Exit the Gently exit the conversation. All right. Um, I have a stewardship unlock right now. Divided attention. Nice. Domain limit plus two. And then once I get architect, I'll move on to a different tree. Or a different lifestyle. I've already got like one and a half over here in Marshall. A little less than half of one of the ones in Diplomacy. I just have two perks in um, Learning and one perk in Intrigue. Maybe I'll take more Intrigue. Probably not. I am compassionate. Well, I'm not there yet. I still have to get one more stewardship perk first. Grand wedding, quite the spectacle. A magnificent throng of musicians, tumblers, and actors. Okay. So, Dukrikat and Malik Musa. Dukrikat is one of my dukes. And Musa is a neighboring ruler. Ah, the perfect amount of merriment to provide, I think, says Rikat. Ooh. I agree with him. Well, he is... Yeah, if I agree with him, then I get 300 diplomacy experience. And we grow closer to being friends. Okay, yeah, I've got to agree with Musa. And of course, I will praise the happy couple as expected. 
Oh, this is a delay. What a uh, dead in the water. Okay. Yep. Pre. Yeah, praise the happy couple as expected. I know I should be mingling with the other guests, but I just can't tear myself away from my queen Alo from my friend Queen Alo. I can see Lord Cydric trying to get my attention. But at least this time it's not one of the hosts. Or one of the bridal parties. So I I don't care. I can just I can just spend time with my friends. Um No. I'll tell him to come join us. It's what? Um Oh, he's a day of the war. Um Or I could sneak out and we can talk properly. And I'll gain con confider. Should give me diplomacy. Yeah, no, let's sneak out so we can talk properly. Gain the trait confider. So also give me more stress loss uh, options. Oh, who's this that wants an... Duke Philip of Istria wants to... Oh, my nephew. Yeah, sure. We can have an alliance, Duke Philip. Oh, it's Ricard and, Mal and Musa again. Um, I'm going to side with Musa again. Oh, we've become friends. Nice. All right, um, I think that has got it pretty much decided. That I should definitely go toward, back toward, to, back to diplomacy again next. Because, uh, yeah, I've got so many friends at this point. Each of your friend relation, if I get up to friendly council, each of your friend relations gives you two random skill points to the maximum of five. Maximum of five friends or five skill points? I think five friends, which would be 10 skill points, but we'll see. Well, then the one after that is each living child gives you one random skill point. What does Patriarch give you? Fertility, stress loss, close family opinion, and house opinion. Nice. What does August give you? Okay. Yeah, after I finish the stewardship tree, I'm going diplomacy. All right, and we fin and uh, my marshal has increased county control in Maine. Good for him. Um, let's have you do that in where? None of my personal holdings need more county control. Well, let me just go with stuff that's close then. Go to Sabla. Grand wedding, the wedding night starts. Ah, oh, good. It's time. goes the war between Frisia and one of my vassals. Oh, 
Eighty percent in favor of my <clears throat> in favor of my vassal. Good. My spies have informed me about a hunter causing a ruckus at the local tavern. Man has been spending large amounts of gold and bragging loudly about the great deal he struck with a fancy lord in pearls and silk. Apparently he drew a map of the local plains for an unknown nobleman. The spies think the lord must be scheming against me or one of my subjects. Oh, it is that same uh, dude. It's the uh, guy who won the the duel at my tournament. Well, thank you for bringing this to my attention. I've gained more Vigilant for five years, which gives me plus one Intrigue. A Secret Exposed. Um, these accusations are not but malice and lies. Oh, it's not immediately followed by a thing uh, saying that they have a child. Alright. Yep, it's time to leave. Congratulations again. Finish Grand Wedding. And now I will go up to the capital of Denmark, finally. I've meant to do this several times now and never actually gotten around to it. One of these days I need to flesh out Norway. I can't attack Island in a holy war because we don't border it at all. Okay, done. We have part of Pomerania, that's cool. I think uh, war might be in order soon. My one of the Duke of Bavaria is trying to give me a. I'm gonna decline. I'm sorry. I have no interest in your uh, artifact there. So tired of these scandals. I'm the emperor, not a gossip. Okay, out of curiosity. How much of Norway would I need to create Norway? I'd have to have 16 of its counties, and I currently have 11. So that's five more. So if I took the rest of the Nordrejar, Nordre that'd be two more, right? One and two. Yeah, so I just need two more. So if I were to take from Finland, say, a... 
Hello, Galant. How many dot? One, two, three. That'd be exactly okay. Those two ores would be exactly what I'd need to make myself the king of Norway. And then I could de jure war island, and then eventually be able to take the rest of Norway from Finland. Oh, and Sweden has a bunch of Norway. A handful of Norway. What if I were to attack Sweden? That's just one. What is that? Two. I mean, I could take that from Sweden, finish out one of these duchies here from Finland, and take the Nords, and that'd be enough. Well, I'm not doing it yet. I mean, I could. I don't have to be home already for this. I want to gain diplomacy experience visiting the capital of Denmark. And now I have a diplomacy unlock. Flatterer or Bound by Blood? Let's go with Bound by Blood right now. Alright. I'm not looking for military strength, I want this sorted by rank. I haven't befriended the Queen of Leon. So let's do that. Travel the language barrier. Um Yeah, let me try. Oh, I successfully interpreted in the uh, directions. Nice. All right. We have converted the faith in Viterbo. Good job, Adamar. You threw a nice wedding, too. Um, there are no current holes in Britain. There's a big area still here around the Alps, and then there's some stuff on these fringes. And a few pockets in Italy, and then more of Leon needs it too. Um, go to Astorga. There we go. Travel, a duel demanded. Yeah, you might be less valuable when I win. I have a 99% chance of succeeding at this. Yep, I win the fight. This man joins my entourage and my court. He is wrathful, lustful, and brave. Brave. Brilliant strategist, forest fighter, and stuttering. 17 prowess. Not bad. Not bad. Not great for a knight of Anjou, but not bad. Oh. Um, yeah, tell my future wise one. I will pay for a reading. Ooh, bad omens. Oh well. My daughter got married. Good for her. Have some kids. Oh, she's really cute. Nice. Alright. Travel, the knight errant. It is known that people of Essen seem to profess a special devotion towards their knights and legends. Hmm. 
he been a decent knight? No, he's not. He would barely qualify as a knight in my realm. Oh, I'm sorry, she would barely qualify as a knight in my realm. No, it's okay. I I've never personally done this, so I shall never leave a knight unattended. Lead the way. Uh, knight errant the quest. Let's see, don't fear, I shall fight it. 82% um, chance I get knight errant training, which is knight effectiveness plus 20%. Nice. Um, yeah. Oh, she's going to join my court anyway. Um, yeah, don't fear, I shall fight it. I killed, I killed the beast. Okay, so out of curiosity, what is the situation with my knights right now? I have 29 knights with 418% effectiveness. Nice. Ooh, a lowly delicacy. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't need the risk of a bowl of stew. If it was something exotic like an empanada, then maybe. But... Ooh, danger, tempting fruit. Um... Uh, yeah, hold on, what if it's poisonous? But I wouldn't... Why? Uh, I don't follow. Oh well. Alright. Um... Okay, I have a rally point up here. Good. Let's go ahead and take this duchy. Declare war. Holy war for duchy. The Nordrejar. Declare the war. Raise my men at arms there in, uh, where is that? Thurso. In case next. Travel, a study in martial. Well, I wouldn't mind some sparring. 99% chance I incre increase my marshal by one. Yeah, I have a ridiculous amount of prestige. And I'm a living legend. I'm assuming Isabel of... Oh, I forgot that, um... Wallachia had a Robertine ruler now. Nice. So is uh is the faith I know that there there have been a few rulers outside of Anjou that have embraced the faith. Has it spread at all? Well, there's a little bit here in Wallachia. Looks like two counties. Nice. Nice. Of course, there's some Ashari up in Latvia. In Estonia. Interesting. How's that war in Frisia going? Badly for Frisia. Negative 89% now. Man, this guy is really dragging that war out. My spy master is coming with grave news. While I do not know yet, someone is plotting against me. We must stop the villain behind us. No, 
let's have Countess Ildegarda re um, lead these troops. Alright, sail up to Skalvagar. Skalvagar. Alright, I am home. Thank god I can go inside again. How is my traveler? Well, I've gotten Wanderer all the way up. Um, oh, I can hold court again, but I don't know. I feel like we do that a little too often, maybe. Uh, what's my Hastaluder looking? Ooh, I met one on Bow, Horse, and Wit already. Nice. I speak to Oilvolger, Lachitic, Brythonic, Saxon, East Slavic, Anglic, High German, the Ock Vulgar, Italian Vulgar, and Chinese. Alright, now though, I can start seriously looking for a spouse for my son. Alright, grand wedding. He's tw okay, he's 13 right now. I don't want to wed him to someone 10 years older. Ooh, the Queen of Bohemia is is Aryan. Nice. And in need of a husband. No, I'm not gonna marry him to the Queen of Bohemia. Alright, let me change some things here. Alright, I really don't want him to have more than like a 10 year age difference. I mean, a 5 year age difference. I could get him a Hindu wife. She is diligent, generous, and trusting. She's got a 15 stewardship. I mean, if she had any inheritable traits, I'd be, like, completely down. But I'm also trying to get another form of Hinduism. Why am I so close to such things? I don't know. This girl here has a 12 stewardship so far. She's ambitious, generous, and diligent. Oh, nice. What kind of upbringing has she got? Intrigue. Why she got an intrigue upbringing? She has a claim on Provins. I have no idea where that is. Oh, it's in Champagne. Okay. Is she heir to anything? No, she is not. Oh, she has an older brother who is heir to the one title. Oh, and then she also has an older sister who would be ahead of that, ahead of her. Okay. And she is comely. Ooh, who's this? She's quick. She's heir to Montague, though. This girl is quick and closer in age.
Doesn't look like she's heir to anything. She's from a noble house, but neither of her parents is landed. Well, her father was a mayor, but he is dead. She is diligent, brave, and bossy currently, but she's also quick. Her stewardship currently is a 12. You are currently the front runner, young lady. Especially since you're the same age as my son. This girl is comely, a little younger, and has an 11. He is quick. You're a ruler, otherwise I'd be really tempted to try to get that giant trait in the family. Don't need an alliance with Wales. Only quick. And she actually has a stewardship focus to her education. Um, yeah, she wins. Guliko Snorlagashvili. There she is. She is Georgian and apostolic. And the proposal. I gladly accept your betrothal proposition. Your son and heir, Elfwig, and I will be the best couple ever. <laughs> I also look forward to the promised grand wedding. Try not to disappoint me. Excellent. Um. Oh, I could adopt people now. Nice. He's not actually someone I want to adopt. I'm going to invite her mother to my court. A scheme at court. The spy master has come to me with the discovery. She is certain that my vassal Count Isbor is scheming against me. He's not even the right face. Um. Yeah, let the traitor be known to all. And let's demand that he convert. Um, no, dude. I'm not giving you a hook in exchange for your conversion. I will not bargain for your soul. Wave after wave, a visage of calm. Um, the river near Anjou offers a wondrous source of easy transportation. One thing I have occasionally had cause to find myself using uh, so it's invigorating, really, listening to the grunts and calls of the rowers, easing us along with the current, watching the landscape roll by even as I remain completely still, standing on the boat's deck, leaning over the side. I feel so very peaceful. The water is almost hypnotic. I lose stress. Okay. And that is going to be it today. You'll have to uh, 
watch next time to see if our schemes to take Norway come to any fruition. Uh, there's a clearing. Some months ago, Marion began clearing land in the forest of St. Quentin to prepare for settlement. Trees are uprooted, paths are cut, and ground is swaled. Arnaud has now written Steward Graja to request that his levy duties be reduced. Um... Yeah, the entirety of Clermont could, could do with that, that's fine. Burying the hatchet? Who is this? Remember the generous? Um, she's a rival? Uh, yes, let's stop being rivals. I'm good with that. I don't want rivals. And as I was saying, this has been Crusader Kings 3 on Jivin Dreams, and I am some guy you've never heard of. Unless, of course, you have. <laughs>